identifying striated muscle fibers and nerve cells in animals. Aim to identify striated muscle fibers and nerve cells in animals from prepared permanent lights and to draw their label diagrams. Apparatus Materials Principles or Theory Precautions Procedure One by one, examine each slide under the microscope, first under low magnification and then under high magnification. Note down the characteristic features of each type of tissue. Observations and inferences A. Striated muscles The muscle fibers of striated muscles are cylindrical and unbranched. Each cell is enclosed in a cell membrane called sarcolemma. These muscle fibers show alternate dark and light bands showing their characteristic striated appearance. Hence they are called striated muscle fibers. The striations are prominent. Within the cell membrane lies the cytoplasm which is called the sarcoplasm. The cells are multinucleated. The nuclei lie towards the periphery of the muscle fiber. Striated muscle fibers occur in the skeletal muscles, example the muscles in the hands, palms, fingers, legs, tongue, etc. Their function is to bring about movements and locomotion. B. Nerve cells A nerve cell is also called a neuron. It has a large body called a cyton. A cyton gives out many cytoplasmic branches called dendrons. Each dendron gives out many thin fiber-like branches called dendrites. A prominent nucleus is present in the cyton usually at its center. The longest projection of the cyton is called an axon. The axon ends in a large number of terminal branches, each having a knob-like structure called a synaptic knob or bulb. A neuron conducts nerve impulses. Dendrites take the impulse to the cyton. The axon takes it away from the cyton to the synaptic bulbs. Conclusion or Result